Hi. Evolution has gifted us with an amazing ability to detect signals of danger and signals of safety. We have also been endowed with, as all mammals have, five defensive states. Some of you are familiar with the most popular, and many of you may be unfamiliar with the rest. But each state has a special purpose designed specifically to protect us, to allow us to continue to survive and escape danger. One you may be very familiar with is flight. And this is what flight kind of looks like. It's the energy that's ready to take off. It's the energy that says, run for your life. Flight is a state of high anxiety, scanning around for safety or danger, and everything in the body and mind is prepping it to do one thing, to run as quick and as far as you can to get away from the danger. Now, many of us are familiar with that concept and may have even felt those direct feelings. What you might be surprised to know is that the state of flight can also show up in different behaviors. It, instead of just the desire to physically run, we have the desire to avoid and run from emotion, our experience. So eating issues, eating disorders, compulsive eating, emotional eating, these are all examples of flight energy. Addictions. Addictions are a flight away from our pain. And diversions and distractions, like binging on Netflix or binging on any kind of purchase, or any kind of hobby. Not that having hobbies or watching Netflix is bad. It's just the idea that sometimes when we do things for a prolonged period of time, it's actually being driven by a state. You keep watching or eating or drinking because you're trying to outrun something that's actually inside of you. This creates problems for all of us because if we're running from our life, we're not able to be present. We're, we're not able to enjoy our relationships and what's going on now. We're too worried about when is that bad thing going to happen and what do I have to do to make sure I'm okay? If you've had trauma in your background, then chances are it takes very little to turn on your flight response. And once turned on, your flight response will have a tendency to stay on even longer. This can lead to feeling like day after day or sometimes year after year, the most notable emotion that you have is one of fear and anxiety. Again, this isn't your fault. I want to make that very clear. This is the nervous system still doing what it was wired to do, which is to protect you. It doesn't know right now that mm, causing you to have flight into eating might be damaging for your health. It just wants you to get away from pain. So understanding how flight inserts itself into our life is the first step in beginning to not have to live under the domineering or tyrancy of fear, anxiety, flight. Again, flight can be an important message. Something's triggering us to feel unsafe. But the issue here, like with all of the states, is if we're stuck in them, if we tend to live our life through them and in them, we're living more of a reaction than we are in interaction with the present. 
So much of what we have learned over the past 10 to 12 years about what truly works with trauma survivors, and for that matter, for all of us, is learning to identify what states we're in and to learn how to shift out of those states so that we're not completely and always ping-ponging back and forth between one state and another. And to be able to experience true freedom now. If you'd like to learn more about how to work with your nervous system, how to really be able to shift your nervous system, then think about joining our program. In it, you'll learn how to navigate your nervous system, embody safety, and be a healing presence. Hope to see you there.